Hi, my name is Willa Marie Moore and I'm Director of Education here at the Museum of International Folk Art. Welcome to Day 2. This is our program with a group of Tibetan Buddhist monks. They are here for five days creating a sand mandala for us, as you can see right here in the lobby in front of our special exhibition called Sacred Realm, Blessings and Good Fortune Across Asia. Today, day two, the monks will continue where they left off last night, constructing their mandala, and you'll be able to see it in progress as the hours and the days go by. We will also continue with our community sand painting that is in the atrium space around the corner, so that people, when they come to observe the monks, uh, can actually try their hand at uh, painting with sand themselves. And they soon discover it's incredibly challenging and it brings an, a deeper appreciation of the work that the monks are doing. My name is Geshe Loden and I'm doing the spokesperson for this tour group, the Mystical Arts of Tibet Tour, uh, which is organized by Drepung Losling Monastery. So this tour, the Mystical Arts of Tibet tour, it begins in late 80s, 1988, uh, with some of the senior monks, around eight monks, I guess, I'm not very sure, eight monks, they set up for the tour. Uh, with the three, then they lay down the three main objectives for doing this tour. The number one is, with the unique tradition of love and compassion that the Tibetans have, we try to promote peace and harmony among the people around the world. And the second thing, so this tradition of love and compassion is, so in Tibet we don't have that opportunity and we try to preserve it in exile in India. Uh, so we making Tibetan, uh, not uh, people around the world, aware about Tibetan and its culture in Tibet which is, you know, in, in danger. And the third one, so since they're exiled in India, we try to preserve those. So whatsoever proceeds from the tour, we have sales items like, you know, those different items like CDs and incenses made by Tibetan refugees in India and Nepal mostly. And whatsoever proceeds, it goes back to India uh, to help the young monks in their education, healthcare, and food and other necessities. So these are the three main objectives of bringing these tours to North America and uh, around different parts of the world, mainly in North America. Uh, so we are here in this, you know, the Folk Art Museum as part of this tour. So what we are making here is the mandala of Amitabha Buddha, who represent enlightened uh, healing and longevity. And Amitabha literally translates as infinite light of the Buddha. Uh, that is one from the prayer side. So uh, throughout the, making, the course of making mandala, the monks they maintain a meditative mindfulness on the purpose of its creation, which is to benefit the environment and the people on all the inhabitants. So we are using many different color shades, but among them we are using the five basic primary color like the white, blue, yellow, green, and red. And all this color represent the five elements of the nature. Like we have water element, earth element, fire, wind, and space. So we're excited for the events throughout the week, 
In addition to the monks continuing to construct their sand mandala and our community sand painting being built by our community members and visitors, we have some special events to look forward to. On Saturday, for example, in the afternoon, as listed here, at 2 o'clock, we're offering a puja, which is a blessing ceremony dedicated to the deity Tara. And then that night, not at the museum, at a separate site at the James A. Little Theater in Santa Fe, the monks will be doing a special performance of sacred music, sacred dance, and that starts at 7.30. And then Sunday is, of course, the closing ceremony. We'll have a lecture at 1 o'clock that um, explains the symbolism of the mandala, because at that point it will be mostly concluded, and so most of the symbolism will be visible.